hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is kitech digital now in today's video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create um simple privacy policy for your word for your website so sometimes you create websites um and then uh, privacy policy becomes a heading or a burden for you and then also terms and conditions for your website becomes what um, a burden for you now i'm going to show you an easy way to be able to generate your terms and conditions and then your what privacy policy in a few steps and in a few minutes okay so as you can see this one is what my privacy policy over here and this is also what my terms and conditions what over here okay so if you go through the privacy policy it's just a simple um you know privacy policy over here which is a standard one that you can be able to use for your website so this is what um, a privacy policy customized for my website um kitech real estate over here and then this one is also what um you know a privacy um terms and conditions customized for what my website um you know kitech digital over here okay so um if you want to you know you are interested in this privacy policy um please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel let us grow together as what as one family okay now if you want to learn how i created this um you know hotel or uh, real estate um you know website over here as you can see this real estate website over here you can um you know watch it in the um i'll put the link in the description below so that you would you'll be able to watch it okay so um let's enter the video now let's go into the video and then learn how to what, create the privacy policy now to be able to create the privacy policy now first let's go to our dashboard and then what we have to what create what a page okay we need to create a page for what um our privacy policy and then our terms and conditions so we what we create let me close this one also we create what some pages okay for for it now to create the page what we are going to do is we're going to hover on pages over here and then i'm going to click on what add new page over here okay very good so um i'm going to write the title which is what terms and conditions okay so i'm going to change this one and make it what end okay so terms and conditions over here and then what i'm going to do is um i'm going to go to my um you know my settings over here okay and then i'll um you know make the page layout with narrow over here and then i'll scroll down and then the content style i'll make it to a box okay so by the way i'm using the cadence theme okay so if you want to use it um you can what download and um, install it from what the wordpress um you know um the teams directory so this is the cadence team that i would i'm using okay now what i'm going to do is after doing this one um i would i'll just come back to what settings over here and then i'll click on a new tab over here and then go to google.com and then i'm going to search for terms and conditions generator so search for terms and conditions for generator okay now you you have so many of them over here a lot of them okay but the one that we're going to use is what terms and conditions generator.com okay that is exactly the one that we're going to use so just you know i'm going to open it in a new tab over here and then as you can see this is what this is the website that you can be able to use to what, to generate a terms a customized terms and conditions for purposely for your what for your um you know um website okay so what you have to do is just fill the details over here this small details over here just two um you know um, um details okay so some few details the first one is your, your website and then the second one is what your business okay so what we're going to do is the um, company name so my company name is what um kitech real estate okay and then the website name is also what kitech real estate and then um you know your website url so i'll go back to my website and then copy the url over here and then come back over here and i'm going to paste the url over here and then i'll click on next now over here they'll tell you to what um, you know select your country okay so my country is what ghana so i'm going to select this country and then i'll just input my what my email address okay this is my email address and then i'll click on what generate terms and conditions now as you can see the terms and conditions has been generated for my website and you know that it is customized to suit my what my website so as you see it says what welcome to kitech real estate these terms and conditions outline the rules and regulations for the use of kitech 
real estate website located at this um, url okay now if you read everything is customized for your what for your website okay now of course you can copy um this text to the clip um you know the clipboard and then paste it inside your what your website but what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy um this one over here okay i'm going to copy this one over here this one i'm going to copy it and then i'll come to my what um you know my my editor over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to paste it over here okay i'll paste it so as you can see this is what the terms and conditions generated for me so easily okay now i'm going to go through and then i will delete something i don't want from you so these agreements shall begin on the date the, um you know here of our terms and conditions were generated cre were created with the help of um this website now i know it is the website that helped me create it but i don't want anybody to know that it is just what um you know um generated with terms and conditions okay so i'm going to remove it from it and then i what i'll keep it as it is and then all what i'm going to do is what click on publish to publish the terms and conditions so as you can see my terms and conditions has been published now i can take what a look at at it okay i can just you know take a look at it and see how it is looking on my what on my website so as you can see this is what the terms and conditions on the website okay now i have to what create the privacy policy but as you know right now um wordpress creates or generate a default um you know privacy policy for you okay so if you look at it over here there is what a draft what um privacy policy over here okay now i'm going to what edit this one so i'm not going to create a page anymore but i will edit the privacy policy which was generated by what wordpress okay i will edit it and then um what i'm going to do is what i'm just going to uh, delete everything in it so i'll highlight everything over here okay so i'm going to what highlight everything in the what um in the privacy policy over here and then i'll just click on what uh, um you know use the backspace or the delete on the uh, on the what on the website um my keyboard to, uh, to delete everything from it okay so that is what exactly what i'm going to do so i'm going to have an empty word page over here okay now i'm going to close this one and then i'll go back to my google over here and then instead of terms and conditions generator this time around i'm going to type what privacy privacy policy generator over here okay so um i'm going to search for privacy policy generator and then i'm not going to use um all this one what i'm going to use is what this one which says what 100 percent free privacy policy generator okay now i'm going to what, open it in a new tab over here and then i'm going to click close this one and then i'm going to have this one okay so as you can see it is similar to what the first one which is the um you know the terms and conditions with generator okay so i think they are all from the same what the same company okay so what i'm going to do is um this one also says what your company name so it is the same thing kitech real estate and then um you know the same website name kitech real estate and then i'm going to what copy my website what um url from here okay so i'm going to copy this one and then come over here and then paste it what over here okay i'm going to delete the last one and then i'll click on what next now as you can see you'll be asked what some additional what informations okay so for instance do you use cookies on your website of course you use cookies on your website now do you show advertisement through um google adsense on your website if so if you have any advertisement through google adsense you take what yes but i'm going to take no because i don't do you show advertisement from third party um you know third parties like except google adsense do you show any advertisement from what third party um i don't know yet but i'll say what yes because maybe i'll show a third party what advert on my website then i'm going to what click on what next over here now it will also tell you to what um you know your country and then um your what your email address and then i'm going to click on this generate button over here and then it's going to what generate my privacy policy for me as simple as that so as you can see this is what the privacy policy um generated for me okay so what I, all what i need to do is like i did the first one i'm just going to what, copy this whole thing again 
okay i'm just going to copy it and then go back to my privacy policy over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to paste it over here so now i have my privacy policy pasted over here what i'm going to do is um i'm going to go through it and then the place that says that um our privacy policy was generated um you know or created with the help of i'm going to remove it so this one over here i am going to what, remove it okay so um now that i have what removed what i want let me go through and see if there is something i have to what, remove so um our advertising advertising with partners so some of advertising okay very good so um you know i don't show google ads okay or because of google ads policies and other stuff they've what they brought this one over here. but if you want to delete it you can delete it okay by depends on you so everything is okay for me i think everything is fine all what i need to do is what to you know edit the um the page um, layout and everything just like we did for the terms and conditions so i'm using the cadence team like i told you the first one so i'm going to go with um you know the page settings over here and then i'll change the page layout to what narrow over here and then with the um you know content style i'm going to go for what box okay and then i think everything is okay for me all what i need to do is to click on what publish to publish with my page okay and then my page is what it's published i have my terms and conditions what created for me now the next one is what to show the terms and conditions okay and the privacy policy on the and like just on the what on the footer um you know bar okay or on the footer okay so what we're going to do is we're going to show it on the footer so to show it on the footer we need to create footer menu okay so what we're going to do is what just go to your um, dashboard and then under appearance um you know hover on appearance and then come to what menus over here okay so when you go to menus we're going to create what a footer menu for what our what a footer so now we have what um you know menu which is created over here this is the um the only menu that we have over here but we're going to create a new menu okay so click on create new menu over here on this link okay just click on it to um create a new what menu for you okay now name the menu footer menu okay and then position it or um, place it at what footer okay so the location should be what footer and then click on what create menu okay so now that our menu is created now we want to what add menu items to it okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to view all and then we're going to add privacy policy now we scroll down we add what terms and conditions over here now click on add to menu okay so we have privacy policy and then what terms and what conditions so i'm going to change this one and make it to what um this sign okay so we have privacy policy and terms and conditions and then i'm going to what click on save menu okay so now let's go and then refresh our website and see if it shows on the footer or not now of course it's not going to show on the footer because we have not what um you know set it to show here okay even though we created what a footer um you know menu we have to what, go to the customization session and then customization settings over there and then also what um you know customize it to show the footer menu over there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to click on customize over here and then now that we have um we are at the you know customization or the customized settings over here now we're going to click on footer over here and then as you can see um we only have the copyright what you know um um item over here okay so what we will do is what we click on this bottom row gi icon over here and then the columns over here okay so like i told you i'm using the cadence team so each team depends on what how um to use it okay but i am using the cadence team and the cadence um, ocean wp and then um you know astra and i think most of the teams have the same what um you know um footer builder over here which it's similar okay so what you're going to do is instead of one column we're going to make what two columns okay so as you can see we have one column over here and another what column over here now we can add what we can add um you know items over here so we, we click over here and then we look for footer navigation over here and then we click to what to add the footer navigation now if we scroll down we see that there is what the footer is over here okay but as you can see you cannot see it what, properly okay so we have to what, style it so that we see it okay or design it so what we're going to do is um 
first of all i'm going to go to design over here and then i'm going to change the navigation colors from this color to what to white over here okay and then um i'll also change the what um you know the active color to uh, to this color okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the active color to this color so that it will be what it will be seen okay and then um secondly i'm going to go to what you know let me go over here and then i'll position it on the what on our align it on the right over here okay and then i'll place it what um you know at the let me see yeah at the bottom over here okay so i'll place it at the bottom okay and then i am good to go so as you can see i have my what my privacy policy and terms and conditions set up all what i need to do is what, to click on what publish okay and then we are good to go so if i close um you know the customize and then i scroll down over here you realize that i have my what my privacy policy over here and then my terms and conditions too over here now everything is what everything is set up and we are good to go okay so if i click on privacy policy i'm going to land on what privacy policy now my website is what is fully functioning with a privacy policy because a website without a privacy policy and terms and conditions is not a good website every website that you create you should make sure that you give it to it a privacy policy and terms and conditions thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel so that we will show you all these tips and tricks when um to be able to uh, develop good work website okay so see you in the next video bye bye